Parliament last month resolved to institute a seven-member ad hoc committee, chaired by Bungoko South MP Michael Werike. The committee is charged with the responsibility of scrutinizing the entire oil sector, including the bribery allegations paid against Prime Minister Mama Mbabazi, Internal Affairs Minister Hira Roneg, and Foreign Affairs Minister Sam Kutesa. The probe kicked off with Energy Minister Irene Moroni. She highlighted the history of the oil industry in Uganda, which stems way back in 1925 but has since grown leading to discoveries of 20 oil wells with the capacity to produce 2.5 billion barrels of fuel. People already think so, uh, oil is being sold. There has not yet been production in the country. However, government has received and is reviewing applications for production licenses together with the field development plans for some of the discoveries. The committee was also informed that the future of Uganda's oil industry has attracted interest of 50 more new oil companies that have applied. Now it's very easy to have competition because as we speak now, there are about over 50 companies, close to 80 companies that have actually submitted applications. This licensing, they have not been licensed and they've been told to wait until the law is finished. Nine out of the 50 companies have expressed interest in the oil production, which is expected in the next 18 months with crude oil for thermal power generation. Government says this will boost the power generations of about 200 megawatts of thermal power. And can be used for industries, like cement industries, they can use it. And uh, power industries, power generation plants can use it. So what is going on now is testing. And after three years from now, Uganda will start a mini oil refinery to produce 20,000 barrels per day. And in a period of nine years, it will raise to 120,000 barrels per day. The minister also confirmed that the license of some of the oil exploration areas belonging to Taro Oil have expired awaiting review, and about 10,000 square miles of land have reverted to government. Some of the areas covered by the licenses have since been returned to government through expiry of the licenses and relinquishment requirements in the production sharing agreements. This whole area is what was licensed in, expro to, in 2001. Now when the license expired in 2009, after eight years, the company had made discoveries, which you can also see in the background here, actually all reverted to government. And that area is in the hands of government, and it's an extremely high profile area. We want to open them up to competition, you know, but we want that to be done when we have the new laws in place. It's day one of the parliamentary oil probe. This probe is not only about allegations made against ministers, it will cover a wide range of issues in the oil sector. And at the end of it all, Ugandans would have known whether the discovery of oil in Uganda is a benefit to Ugandans or a curse. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.